This might get a little ridiculous. Hey guys, Sean here from the Everyday Aficionados, and today we're taking a look at Founders Ridiculous Imperial Red IPA. This one is 9.5% ABV and 90 IBUs, and it has Simcoe, Mosaic, and Chinook hops in it. This is the latest release in Founders Backstage series. I've had a couple beers from that series so far, haven't really been blown away by anything from that series, but I'm still curious to try this one out. Let's go through the aroma, the taste, and I'll give you my rating. So for the aroma on this one, definitely getting some interesting fruity-like characteristics. Some solid tropical fruits, more towards like mango, a little bit of pineapple in there. Definitely getting some citrus fruits, a really nice like ruby grapefruit character, maybe some orange peel. But it does have a nice pininess behind all that. And definitely some dankness, as you would expect from the name of the beer. Very big, bready character coming through as well. Definitely smells like an interesting beer. Cheers. Okay, yeah. Kind of more the same as the nose in this one. But I do think that the piney, dank resinous hops come through a little bit more in the taste than they did on the nose but more of those fruity characteristics as well lots of citrus fruits again like a ruby grapefruit just lots of grapefruit in there pithy grapefruit a little bit of uh, orange peel character very light tropical notes in there as well again some mango pineapple in there very solid breadiness to this beer a little bit of caramel but lots of toasted bread. Again, very resinous, very sticky, piney, and a solid dank character to it. At 90 IBUs, I think that malt backbone does a pretty good job at balancing out the bitterness and providing a little bit of sweetness because it doesn't come off as overly bitter. Definitely has a decent bitter quality to it though. And the finish on this one is kind of bittersweet, lingering of those pithy, citrus flavors, and some of those resinous hops. So for my final thoughts on Founders Ridiculous, this one is going to get a weak A- for me. Definitely a very bold beer in all aspects. I mean, it tries its best to be balanced with that very solid multi backbone, but make no mistakes, this is a very bold, hoppy beer, so if you like your sticky, resinous, hoppy beers, you'll probably enjoy this one as long as you appreciate a solid malt backbone to go along with that. And at 9.5% ABV, you don't get any of that alcohol, so definitely impressive in that aspect. But for me, I just think it's a solid beer, a little bit forgettable, doesn't really knock me off my feet in any way. Again, I just think it's solid, but if you do like bold, hoppy beers, it's definitely worth a try. Have any of you guys gotten ridiculous? What do you think of it? What are some of your favorite beers in the Backstage series so far? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and until next time, drink responsibly and passionately. Thanks for watching. Oh, it's getting ridiculous up in here.